Hi, my name is Adele Drake, and I'm here to talk to you about the artist Cindy Oisha Morgel. Cindy lives and works in Maine and is a personal friend of mine. She grew up in Rhode Island and is of Armenian descent, and this is very relevant to her body of work. Uh, she's a great artist for us to look at as we explore our own identity and ancestral connections um, in this assignment called Your Story in a Picture. Cindy works from family photos, historical documentation, as well as her own dreams to make this work about the family history, um, which involves the Armenian Genocide. To learn more about the Armenian Genocide, you can look um, in this lesson um, at a video that I'll have you look at, and so you'll get a better overview of what happened to her ancestors. Um, so this is work that a body of work that she's calling Armenia of Remembrance. In the Armenian culture, dreams have a lot of significance, and this intaglio print is based on a dream that Cindy had, and I'm going to read to you her description of it. She says, in a dream, my mother gives me a present. She is holding a gaseous ball, white sphere. It is composed of living spirits with faces and smoky bodies, all held together in the shape of a globe. In all, I ask my mother, what is it? And she happily explains that 10 days after you're born, your ball of ancestors arrives. This is my lineage. It is a matriarchal line. Whenever someone is born or dies in our family, their soul arrives from or enters into this ball. So this is an image that really illustrates how connected we are with our ancestors and how influenced we are by our family's history. In this next uh, photograph, which is um, some relatives of Cindy, she says that um, this is her, her grandmother is in this photo. And um, she feels that it's important to tell the story of her grandmother who moved beyond the violence, abuse, and pain related to the genocide, um, but and endured, and amazingly was able to bring joy love and happiness to the lives of those around her. So despite everything, to be able to do that is miraculous. Um, this is an Italian prince entitled Some Armenians, and it's based on a dream that Cindy had. Um, and I can read to you a little bit of that, her description of the dream. So in the dream, she's at an event in the basement of the Armenian church in Rhode Island, where she's from. And in the dream, an older Armenian woman pulls out a book with a torn cover. I tell her I have dreams about what happened. So Cindy's in her dream talking about to an Armenian woman that she has dreams about the genocide. And she starts crying in the dream. She, The woman nods knowingly, and I say, I want to know what happened in my last year. The first page of the book are children's drawings. I enter into the book and see that the vertically scribbled drawings is a huge wheat field. The people are trying to harvest quickly. They know that the Turkish soldiers are coming and they have to hide in a cave in the mountains. To stay hidden, they will have no fires there. They will have to eat the vulgar wheat. I am moving towards them, but I'm still hidden in the tall grains of wheat. Before I can reach them, the ground shakes with the sounds of soldiers' hoofbeat. So this is something that Cindy is experiencing firsthand, what happened to their meeting people, but through a dream. And then she's making these images around those dreams. Now here's another example of Cindy using a family photograph to create work that relates to her ancestral um, knowledge. Um, Armenian people uh, were known, for one of the things that they were, they were known for was tightrope walking and acrobatics. And um, 
she ha went into a historical document and found some information describing this. It says that these um, Armenian people would set up their wire at a stream or a threshing area, and all the village would come to see the tricks and antics of these performers. And so here you see a photo of Simi's grandmother holding her Simi's sister, who's less than three months old, on her hand and just balancing her there. And so Simi did this painting based on that photograph called Circus Baby, which is an oil painting on the wooden panel from 2010. And you can see that she's referred to the, the photo, but she's also brought in other elements with uh, the putting the baby actually on a tight rope and giving them a pole for balancing. And her mother has a chair balanced on her hand, her grandmother. Um, so um, she's brought in the research from the historical uh, documentation that she was able to find, as well as the family photo, and then her imagination to try to tell the story of um, her family. So um, this is a great example of how I'd like you to try to do something like this with the family photo. And um, don't hesitate to bring in ideas from dreams, your imagination. Also do additional research to find out more about your family history, but base it on a photograph or photographs that you have about your family to try to make a work of art that tells a story that's meaningful to you and helps you to dig deeper into your own identity and how you're impacted by your family ancestry. Okay, thank you very much and have fun with this.